Today, a lot of the content that's available on the web is fairly unstructured. It's really, you can think of a lot of the web content today as being designed for human consumption. So let me give an example. Greg might have up on his web page um, that I actually don't know when he was born, so he's going to have to tell me. He's going to reveal his age on camera, and everyone's going to know forever. 1996. Was born in 1996. Okay. Wow. That's frightening. Same age as Google. Same age as Google. Okay, that doesn't make me feel any better. Um, all right, so it, it, imagine that Greg has this up on his website, like, and, and this is, you know, there's some markup associated with this, right? But the markup is is really the, the web markup, HTML markup, is really about sort of the structure of this content, right? It doesn't tell me anything more about this particular fact. But this is a piece of information. So for example, I could create a database of people and store the year that they were born in. Um, and you know, I could do this, but figuring out that how to parse this particular piece of information, a human has no problem with this, right? Because we have these really, really powerful natural language abilities. So I can read the sentence and I know what it means, right? I know there's the fact implied here. There was a relationship established between Greg and the year 1996. And the relationship is that's the year he was born. Um, and so you can imagine that a computer coming across this piece of information. Now this sentence is structured in a way that I suspect even sort of simple uh, natural language processing algorithms that exist today could easily interpret this. But you can imagine much more complex statements that I can write in written English that computers would have a very difficult time understanding. So one of the sort of trends on the modern web, or a push that's underway, sort of being led by Sir Tim Berners-Lee and other people, is to try to make the web data more structured. So I can take this same piece of textual content and I can add additional markup to it. So I can have a markup that's part of the page that wouldn't necessarily be rendered in the browser. And that markup is designed to sort of, uh, for example, uh, indicate that this is a person's name and then indicate that this uh, indicates something about when they were born, right? So there's a fact embodied here. And the goal of the semantic web is to make web data more easy for computers to process. So can I do some things as I write my web with JVS or create uh, web content online that make it a lot more easy for computers to you know, ingest this data and understand it, convert it to information? Um, the net effect of this, if you imagine if I took all of the information that's online, on Wikipedia, on personal web pages, on Facebook, and things like this, and I, I applied all of these semantic web standards, what the web starts to become is almost this huge distributed database. Because databases are about storing structured information. And what I'm doing with the semantic web is I'm using these new markup tools to better structure the information that's present on the, my web pages. And so the web becomes this huge database. It's not as rigidly structured as sort of like a, a schema-based database that you might use like, like SQL. And so we need sort of new database tools and some new thinking about how to process this. But the overall goal is very simple. Can I make web content more structured uh, in ways that re reveals more information and more relationships about the content itself and make it thereby more easy for machines to process. And so this will be interesting to see. In the future, you may, now you may not know this because to you this page may look the same because the semantic markup is going to be removed because you don't need it. But a computer that's crawling across these pages may be much more easily able to determine based on what Greg has written on his personal page that he was born in 1996, the same year as Google apparently.